Hey, welcome to Craft Beer Review. Today I'm trying the Founders Oktoberfest German style Marzen. All right, let's take a look. This is a beer I have never had before, so I'm looking forward to trying. I hope I like it because it had a very good price point at $8.99 a six pack. Um, that's pretty much as cheap as you'll get around here in New Jersey. All right, nice light amber color, kind of orange. A little bit of a, like a half finger head on top. Definitely some carbonation heading up to the surface. A slightly off white head. Mmm, nice aroma. It's, it's got the aroma you'd expect. You know, moderate in intensity. It's got uh, uh, kind of malty, earthy uh, aroma to it. Mm. Cheers. Hmm. It's pretty good. Mm mm mm. Pretty good. I'm liking that. Uh, Kind of got like up front malty earthy graininess um it's very smooth finish very drinkable that was my first impression on that uh let's see what does the can say kind of i like the uh you know design on the can it's nice um See six percent alcohol by volume, twenty IBUs. Foundersbrewing.com. All right. Let's see canned on July twenty second, twenty twenty two. All right. So this beer is. What is that? That's uh. You know, about a month and a half uh, past the canning date at the time of this video. Uh, mm, it's pretty good. I'd say the upfront flavor, I mean, typically speaking, I mean, the traditional grains in a Marzen. Uh, are typically Pilsner malt with Munich malt, with the Munich malt to add the maltiness. Um, that grainy flavor that I mentioned, I think I'm getting some, I think that's a Pilsner malt graininess. I can't be certain. Um, I don't know what the ingredients are. I'm gonna check their website in a second, see if they uh, list anything. Um, my first, thought on this beer though is it doesn't have it's not it's not quite as malty as I would like or that I prefer with my margin but it's still good it's still got uh, flavor I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot of hop character and normally you don't get a whole lot with a margin but uh, I do like a little bit a little uh, floral or earthy spiciness I like from a, a Mars and I don't feel like I'm really getting that from this one it's really kind of just like that earthy grainy flavor little bit of malt uh, character beyond the Pilsner malt flavor but uh, not much relative to uh, what I'm used to with a Mars and let's check out their website here Yes, I'm 21. All right, here we go. Oktoberfest, German style Marzen, ABV 6%, IBUs 20, calories 190, rate beer rating of 99. I can't confirm that, I haven't looked. Availability, July through October. Let's see, blink and you'll think you're in Bavaria. We went all in on tradition with our Oktoberfest using imported German malts and hops with a beautiful lager yeast for the finish. Pours a gorgeous copper hue with a rich, malty, and sli slightly sweet backbone. 
Our version is akin to the beer poured in the early days of Oktoberfest, and yes, it adheres to the Reisengut. Prost. All right. I, I don't know if I would describe this beer as rich. Um, there's, I don't, I'm not getting a whole lot of hop character, and they don't really say that uh, they taste it either. They just rich, malty, and slightly sweet. I mean, I could see malty and slightly sweet, but I wouldn't describe it as rich. I mean, it's definitely got, uh, you know, some graininess to it. Um, and it's got a little bit of malt, but uh, I wouldn't describe it as rich. It is flavorful, though. It does have a nice flavor. Um, I will say, in their statement here where they say it's akin to beer poured in the early days of Oktoberfest, I would agree with that. When I'm drinking this... Um, it actually reminds me of uh, uh, Spaten's um, Mars and Oktoberfest. I mean, this is a solid beer. Um, I mean, it's not... It's not as malty or as hoppy as I like, but it's still a solid beer. And, and again, considering the price point of eight ninety nine a six-pack, <laughs> I could see myself getting this again. Like I said, it's a solid beer. It's going down easy. It's got some flavor. Uh, I'm enjoying it. All right. I'm interested to see if uh, if my opinion changes slightly of it as I drink more of it. I feel like the more I drink it, the more I'm getting a little bit of sweetness on the back end. A little bit more of that malt character might be coming out. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'm interested to uh, see what the uh, second can of the six pack tastes like. Let's see. I mean, 20 IBUs. Yeah, I wouldn't say this beer has a whole lot of hop character, but it's. Uh, I mean, but it's well balanced. I mean, the 20 IBUs. That's that's about right. Uh, that's fitting for the style. see what would I rate this out of five stars let's take into account solid beer decent flavor great price point at eight ninety nine dollars a six pack you know I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this you know right around 3.5 stars I mean is it my favorite Oktoberfest um, no I mean I could think of a couple that I've had in previous years that uh, I can't wait to try but that being said excuse me I mean, it's it's a solid beer, and at like eight ninety nine a six pack around here, that's uncommon for a uh, uh, a solid beer. I mean, you're not really getting anything cheaper than that unless you're going, you know, like Bud or Coors. So, cheers, three point five stars out of five. <laughs>